Today's question comes from the McGibbons. Hashtag Ask James Wise. Thank you for using the hashtag. Some of you are getting lazy on using the hashtag. I don't like it when you guys are lazy on that hashtag. So bonus points for the McGibbons for utilizing my hashtag. Hashtag Ask James Wise. Do a video on settlement of the property and the different deeds you can get and what is the best and worst. Absolutely. Let's dive in. The McGibbons. Great question. Pretty simple. There's essentially three main types of deeds you can get. Those are quick claim deed, limited warranty deed, general warranty deed. Now, a general warranty deed and a limited warranty deed for all intensive purposes are very, very similar. Those are the types of deeds you want. A quick claim deed is the one that is totally different and you essentially never want to buy a property via quit claim deed. First, let's talk about the quit claim deed. What the quit claim deed means is you're just taking the property, you're not running a title search. So you're not checking for any liens or encumbrances or clouds on title. That puts you at incredible risk. Someone can sell you a property for say $30,000 via quick claim deed. These are the kind of folks you find selling properties off of Craigslist, by the way. It's like the freaking wild west out there on Craigslist. That's just insanity. Don't engage in any of that behavior. What you could end up doing is buying a property from some guy for cash for $30,000, and then five years down the road, you decide to sell that property. Let's say it's worth $50,000 now. You go sell it for $50,000, and you find out that there's apparently a lien or a mortgage on that property of $200,000. And the other guy, he wasn't going to buy it on quick claim deed. He was using a general or a limited warranty deed, and he did a title search, so he found out about those liens, and now you're screwed. You can't sell the property. You're underwater on the property. So for that reason, let's just go ahead and X out quick claim deed. We are never going to mess with those. When you work with an actual real estate company such as Holton Wise or any other realtors out there, they are pretty much never going to allow you to work with quick claim deeds. The liability, as you can see from what I just said, is totally insane. So that leaves us with two. General warranty deed, limited warranty deed. Again, these very, very similar. Now, a general warranty deed is more common in residential transactions, where a limited warranty deed is more common in your commercial transactions. What they both do is they guarantee the purchaser free and clear title, okay? Marketable title. And you do this by getting a title insurance policy from the title company. So when you sell the property, you have the title company that's handling that transaction. They check for liens or encumbrances if everything is clear. They say, hey, this is clear, and we're going to insure title to the property. So if down the road, the, the new buyer ever runs into a problem, he could go back to that title company, and their title insurance would pay for any issues. The difference between the two of these is a limited warranty deed. When you do that, the seller is saying, hey, I guarantee that there is no additional liens or encumbrances on this title for the time period that I've owned this property. Maybe I've owned this property for 40 years. So in those 40 years, there is nothing funny going on that you don't know about, and I guarantee you that. Whereas a general warranty deed, the difference being, they say, I'm gonna guarantee you that nothing has gone on goofy or funny with this property. However, I'm not gonna guarantee it for just the time that I own it. I'm gonna guarantee that for the entire time that that property has ever been in existence. Either way, getting a title insurance policy is the way to go. And if you're buying a commercial deal, you're probably gonna end up with a limited warranty deed. And if you're buying a residential house, one to four units, you're probably gonna get a general warranty deed. In either scenario, you are never gonna wanna get a quick claim. Mm. All right, the McGibbons, I hope that answers your question. For the rest of you that have questions, please check out the Ask James Wise video. Check out all the content we've put out there. If you have a question that you see that's not already answered, drop that question in the comments using the hashtag AskJamesWise, and we'll produce a video just like this one for you answering your question, and that is 100% free of charge. Do not forget to pound the like button, share this with your friends, anybody interested in investing in real estate, Holton Wise is the number one seller of investment real estate in the greater Cleveland area. If you want to sign up to our mailing list, go ahead and click the link above me or below me. I'm James Wise. If you want to find out more about my personal life story, 
as an investor, broker, entrepreneur. You could do so by following my Instagram, at JamesWiseHWPG. As always, James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.